In this video, we put some modifications onto the HBX Rampage, which, in my opinion, is one of the best value for money RC cars out there. Want to make some extra cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, go on more holidays, or maybe build a monster truck? I've got you covered. Check out my course in the description, and I'll show you how to make 100k profit a year. Guys, a little while ago I did an unboxing and a review on the HBX Rampage. We had it on the skate park, we've done a few stunts with it, we tested it out, and so far nothing has broke. And for the price guys, there's probably not much else out there like this. But it did have a couple of things that I did not like. Let's take a quick look. So, the first thing that I wasn't too much of a fan about was the shocks. Because the shocks actually, uh, they're not shocks. As you can see there, look guys, they're hollow, there's nothing in there, so there's absolutely no damping action there whatsoever it just sort of bounces around a little bit i've got these aluminium shocks here and we're going to bolt them on also hasn't been a downside yet but it does come with plastic drive shafts it's always nice when cars come with metal ones so i've got a set of metal shafts to put on here and in case you're wondering here are the part numbers All right, so looking at these shocks, they're fully aluminium construction, both the top and the bottom and the complete body, even the shock cap here at the bottom. So let's get them on there and see what they look like. So it gets a bush at the bottom like that, and also it gets another bush at the top. And then we have a short screw for the top and a long screw for the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna get the rest of the three shocks on there and then we'll get you back on. All right, here we are, all fitted, all four shocks on there. I reckon that looks pretty cool. When you come to dropping it, check this out. All that bounce is gone. So let's have a look at that in slow motion. And now here's one with standard springs. All right, let's have a look at that in slow motion. So as you can see guys, massive, massive difference. Back to the one with shock absorbers. It just absorbs it. Oh guys, I reckon these little things look epic. All right, let's get the steel drive shafts on there. So in the packet, you get four drive shafts, four wheel hexes and four wheel nuts. And actually having a look at these shafts here, I mean, check out that detail. They're proper CVD style drive shafts. And the quality of these looks actually pretty good. So let's get them installed and then see what it looks like with it on the truck. So the standard wheels are held on with actually a screw. So a bit of a weird design. You don't really see that that often. Normally there's a wheel nut. This has just got a screw and it goes through the middle of it by the looks of it. So this is what holds the wheel on as standard. There's the hex, and this is what the hex goes on to. So it doesn't actually look that strong. But with that said, I've not had any problems with it yet, so I can't really knock it. But I do much prefer this design here. Just check out how flexible this plastic is, guys. This is probably why these don't really break that often, because they take such a beating. Because when you crash, all the plastic just flexes and then it bends back. Oh, and guys, check it out. They even come with ball bearings in the hubs. Oh, I forgot to mention it also comes with four drive pins. So we'll just get that into there. And then the wheel hex on top of that. Then the wheel back on. And now we have a proper wheel nut instead of that screw. Ah, guys, one thing worth noting is is that normally RCs come with 5.5 millimeter screws or nuts, I mean, or seven millimeter nuts. And this one here is actually a five millimeter, so this doesn't actually fit on there. And if I use my box spanner, it doesn't reach that way. And if I use this spanner here, it's, uh, it's all kind of on the wonk. So I'm just gonna have to do them up with this. So yeah, laugh at me in the comments, guys. All right, so we've got that side on, so now I'm gonna do the rest of the other ones and then we'll get you back on. All right, here we go, guys. All four shocks on, all four drive shafts in. Guys, I reckon it looks pretty good. So let's stick the battery on and give it a blast. All right, guys, I've got to try and drive and record at the same time, so no idea how that's gonna come out, but let's give it a blast. All 
Uh oh, crash. <laughs> One hand, it isn't as easy as it looks, guys. Oh, it, it jumps nice, guys. It drifts. It, uh, uh oh, <laughs> oh, tumbly wumbly. All right, let's put the camera on the floor and let's have a little blast. All oh, right, so on the battery it comes with, it's, uh, it's a little bit slow, but it's 7.4 volt, and I do have a 7.4 volt LiPo battery, which is supposed to be for WL Toys A959, wherever that is there, one of these. It's supposed to be for one of these, that's what it comes with, or an A979. I mean, that LiPo battery is a little bit thicker, but luckily, if you take this screw out of here, and then move it up a hole, it gives us a little bit more room, so now we can get that LiPo battery in there. Oh, check that out guys, loads more power. Let's try it out. All right, here we go. Oh, check that out guys, that is so much faster, but I can't do it one-handed, so I'm gonna have to get the tripod. All right, here we go. Oh my God, it's so much faster now. I'll tell you what guys, it's definitely a bit of a handful in here. Oh. Oh, tumble wumble. Oh, oh, where's it gone? Where are you gone? Come back. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can backflip it with the brushless, not the brushless power, the lipo power. Maybe we will brushless this, guys. Maybe one day. Oh, backflip, nailed it. Oh, this thing's not messing about, guys. Oh, look at that, nailed it. Oh, oh guys, check it out with those blue shocks on there. What do you reckon? So, I'm gonna put a link to this car down below, guys. It is, in my opinion, from the cars that I've tested so far, of all the cheap ones anyway, I would say this is the best value for money. Here in the UK, it's 40 pounds. We're probably looking at around about $50, something like that. And for the quality of it and the performance of it and the durability of it, you can't really fault it. So if you want to get into the world of RC, maybe you want to get one of your kids into the world of RC, this could be the perfect candidate. And I'm going to put a link to it, as I said, down below. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified. See you soon. Bye.